Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Dean here, and I wanted to share with you some things that you might be doing that is hindering your business's ability to generate leads. So uh, lead generation is a massive part of a business's revenue and ability to make sales. So uh, if you're doing some things that are hindering or not allowing you to get the results from your act marketing activities that are generating leads... Uh, it can be a major problem and it can feel like you're looking for a needle in a haystack because you don't quite know where the problem is. You see other people getting results and you don't quite seem to be hitting the mark. So I'm going to share with you some of the key things, really critical things that could be stopping you generating leads. So uh, we'll start at the top. All great uh, businesses lead generation comes from a strategy at the top. If you don't have a strategy and a clear understanding of your value proposition, your USP, um, you will be producing uh, beige results, um, average results or underperforming results. If your lead generation is not connected to your offer as a business and your compelling offer, as I say it, what makes you different? What can you deliver that solves a real problem for a customer? If you've not got that integrated into your lead generation strategies, it will not work very well. Uh, you will have to do more and more stuff just to get, this, get the results that you need. And you will never see this 5 to 1 ratio or the 10 to 1 ratio that people should be getting back from their marketing efforts. That's right, a 5 to 1 is a good return on investment and a 10 to 1 is brilliant. But most people aren't even sure if they're getting a 2 to 1 or a 3 to 1. Let me just say something on ROI. ROI uh, is so critical that you understand well, of all the activities that you're doing, what's the benefit that they're bringing to your business? Uh, because what a lot of businesses are doing in their lead generation activities is they're spreading their budget so thin across so many different things that it's achieving nothing. So they're spending £500 here and £200 here and £300 here and a 50 quid here. And they're expecting amazing results with very little capital into any of the projects. So you need to focus Focus your lead generation into a few key areas, get them working and build out. Don't try and conquer all the different platforms, all the different channels and uh, with a limited budget. You need to have a clear budget and a clear focus on one channel and get one channel working and then move forward. So uh, focus and cha choosing your channels is really, really important. And that should be led from the strategy we spoke about a few minutes earlier, that your strategy strategy should be informing the, the campaigns and the lead generation that you're actually doing. Next one, consistency. Um, I've, I've heard lots of people say to me, oh, marketing doesn't work. Uh, marketing doesn't work because if you don't have a clear plan and see that plan through, you will never yield any results. So everybody knows that and it's common sense. But why do we chop and change? Why do we change things every few minutes? Why do we, uh, we become trigger happy, tweaking stuff, adjusting stuff constantly, never really allowing anything to bed in? It takes a consumer and a customer seven to eight times to see a piece of information to even remember it, yet we've changed it three or four times in the first few hours of launching a campaign or implementing a marketing campaign. So it is about consistency, repetitive messages, consistent messages and consistent campaign activity. You can't expect amazing results from one hit wonder activity. It is about doing things for the long term. And statistically, long-term campaigns and, and regular activity will yield more than any kind of quick knee-jerk campaign you can do. So uh, if you want to work a campaign to get 10 leads, uh, it's, it's you know easily done. But if you want to build a business where it's generating 1,000 leads a year, you have to be consistent. You can't use a 10-lead strategy for a 1,000-lead campaign. Um, 
it just does not work. So uh, these are some of the things you need to think of. Lead generation, the success and failure of lead generation is never about the tool or the channel generally. That bit usually works. It's the stuff behind it, the messages, the key, the key strategies that you're employing. What's the, the USPs and how are you communicating them? That's what makes it fail. It's actually nothing to do with the tools that you use usually. It's, it's the thinking behind the use of the tools. Final one that you need to think of is singular messaging. The power of one message is incredible. Often we use lots of different messages and try and convey complex messages uh, to show people we are clever, we know what we're doing, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work. You need a very clear, punchy message that means something to your target customer. So if you're trying to reach a target customer, your message has to hit them, not just hit them in the sense of, I read it and understand it, but it is relevant and engaging to them. And too often what we do is we, we try and make very big, complex messages, and it needs to be a very simple, straightforward message, clear call to action that we can demonstrate, uh, we can show that we can deliver the goods for that client. So I hope you found some of these tips of why lead generation fails. Um, we can go into the tactical. And if you want to subscribe, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can put comments on here and on, the, on any of my videos. And I will share more videos about how things, how things can help you with your lead generation, what, what strategy you can use, some tactics, some little uh, tips and tricks. Um, so please do comment, share some thoughts, but it's all in the strategy. If the strategy's wrong, no amount of clever tricks and tactics will work. So if you want leads, you need to go up to another level instead of playing at the tactical, play at the strategic and start mastering your USP, mastering your message, and then choosing your channels based on the customers. Thanks for watching, guys.